Hello everyone, I'm Matt Watson, a business development manager here at Deep Sea Electronics. The purpose of this video is to give you a short overview of how to plug an input and an output on a DSC M series device using CodeSys 3.5 Service Pack 12. The video will use the M870 device descriptor as an example, but the theories and principles throughout the video are the same for all DSC M series devices. So the first thing to note is the M870 device descriptor down the left hand side here and the software features associated with this device down the tree here. The hardware features of the device are designated by the grey icons here. So if we click into the M870 inputs by clicking the plus, we can then select the particular pin that we want to configure by right clicking on the pin itself. We then click plug device and we can then see a pop-up window will appear here. This will automatically bring up all of the types of inputs that you can configure the device to be. So if for example we selected a digital input for input pin 1 you can see that it's configured in the background. Now we can select input pin 2 and do the same here. By plugging the device. Once you have finished configuring all of the input pins you can click close on the window. This will then show that the inputs have been configured correctly here. If you want to manipulate how the inputs work then you can double click on the input and you can see the default values on the right hand side. These can all be changed on the left hand side by double clicking you can then click the drop down arrow and select active low or pull up pull down for the resistor type. To change the IO mapping, click here and you can then map a variable within your application to the state of the digital input. To do this, simply click the three dots shown next to the variable. This will then bring up the POUs of the application. We can then select a Boolean value associated with any POU in the application. Once selected, this will appear in the box here. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any further questions, then please contact support at deepseaelectronics.com. Thank you.